The tanks, the armors, and open shooting on armless people. They were in a peaceful demonstration, and all of a sudden, uh, the military army they started to shoot them and to crush them beneath the military vehicles, and the 27 persons were killed. This is the first time that the Egyptian. Christians are persecuted not just by the Muslims in the country but also by the government this time. In the past, they used to do to, to have someone else does it and then hide behind it. But now their hands are wet with blood. They are trying to rule the state and they're trying to make us an example. They're trying to stop us from asking for any rights. Not not the cops, not the Christian, all the Egyptians. <laughs> Revolution is needed. Revolution was going in the right direction. Every part in, in, in Egypt, all all people in Egypt were one, together. It was it it was a huge event. We all were proud. But now, how can we proud with our military running over civilians? Why? Sometimes they don't go to work because they don't feel safe. Uh, there isn't really a lot of security or police that kind of come to their help. If the churches are on fire, the cops just won't come. Now there is many uh, Islamic groups, uh, fanatic Islamic groups against against Christians, and um, there is no justice. They burn it till now with three churches, and no one uh, was brought to, to justice. <laughs> big deal because the United States government and our tax dollars are funding their military right now. The United States uh, gives Egypt, Egypt is the second largest recipient of U.S. aid. We give them military aid, we give them funds. This is not a blank check. Don't give them the money and, and get yourself connected to atrocities like this. Your money is used to buy gun, to buy artillery, to crush people. We need to stop that. US wake up! US wake up! US wake up! We need justice! 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 Egypt is our land. And uh, we will not leave Egypt. We will not evacuate Egypt. We love all Egyptians, and we want Egypt to be one. We want Egypt to be successful. We can live in Egypt the same way we live here in America, with religious freedom and equal rights and human rights to be able to practice and preach whatever we want without feeling discriminated or afraid to even build churches or walk down the street wearing a cross. Egypt is for all, Muslims and Christians and Baha'i and Shia for all. Yes.